I'm sitting in all this traffic just for y'all so I can show y'all the Miami fashion district. All this, just for y'all. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Now come on now. So I'm finally over here. What's up icons, it's the iconic fashion figure and today I'm going to take you over to Miami's fashion district. And I say fashion district because it's not like LA's fashion district. This is a whole different vibe, but you can find wholesale clothing over here. So I'm gonna try to take you to two different areas where you can buy clothing because there's actually two different streets. So one will be 20th street and then the other one is 5th Avenue or 5th street, one of those. I'll show you once I get over there but I'll try to put addresses in the description too for those of you that want to go to those areas just to give you an address to put in your GPS to get you to those areas so let me try to get this first one this first one's not really a walkable area you more so want to find the store pull up and go to that store I mean you can walk it if you want but it's a busy road it's not like um, LA fashion district where you can just walk around all day long it's a little different but Fifth Avenue you can walk more and it's a a little easier to walk around there without having to pull up to every location. So let me show you 20th Street and then we'll go to 5th Avenue. Magnolia, they do require a resale certificate though, but check out Magnolia if you are in that area.
Okay, so that was just 20th Street that I took you guys on. I didn't spend much time over there because the moment I got out the car, this random guy started following me the entire time. I don't even know where he came from. I feel like he walked out of one of the stores. I just didn't see him. You guys will see him in the footage. And I'll even show you this clip where I recorded him after. Even when I got in the car, he was still following me. Look at his ass. He didn't follow me the whole way around. The moment I got out the car, he was following me. Look, now he finally going to get in his car. He literally walked with me the whole fucking time. So, like, I had walked up to show you guys that I wanted to show you where Magnolia's is because that is a well-known wholesale vendor. And then I went to walk back, and he's still following me. He followed me the whole time. And the area that this is in is not really a good area. It's in Alapata. And for those of you that are in Miami, you know. You know what that area is like. Um, so, for you out-of-towners, I'm going to warn you, be careful. This is not South Beach at at all this is real Miami that I'm sending you guys to so you don't want to be like me I had a meeting before coming over here so I'm overdressed to be in this area on top of having camera equipment with me so it's like I'm out here asking to be robbed but just be careful in this area it's not terrible it's just not the best you're not in like a tourist spot so he kind of threw me off I didn't get to show you guys the entire street because I wanted to get away from him because he kept following me me. and it's not even like he said hello it's one thing if he came over and said hi to me it'll be a little different but the fact that you follow me up and down the street and then at one point you got on your phone it was a little weird so I wanted to get from over there plus I want to show you guys oh and there was a shoe store too I want to show you he threw me off because that's where I was walking to the, it was called LA shoes and the shoes were starting at five dollars so you could get wholesale shoes over there um I didn't get to show you but the street it was on was on 22nd and 20th so if you're on the corner of 20th street and 22nd avenue you should be able to see it it's like a big red and white sign for those of you that want shoes wholesale as you guys can see there's categories over there for everything you had men's women's kids there were swimwear shoes jewelry everything's over there you should be able to find it the only drawback to it is a lot of those stores over there are wholesale and retail so for those of you that don't have a license that's good because you should be able to buy over there without a license the only thing is you probably will have to pay the sales tax but if you have a license bring that so that way you don't have to pay the sales tax plus if you're buying wholesale you should be able to negotiate the rates and get a better rate if you are a wholesaler versus buying retail so that's the only drawback to it it's wholesale retail but that is good for those of you that don't have a license so now I'm over on Fifth Avenue to show you guys over here and most of these stores are now closed over here I don't know if it was because of the pandemic that they shut down or if they've been shut down I'm sure most of these stores probably were trying to get out of this area because it's not the best area but most of these stores are closed I noticed most of them the gates are down there's graffiti everywhere I'm going to show you the few stores that are over here but this is not what it used to be it's pretty dead over here and it's just pretty much graffiti everywhere so I think that's it oh and the video I mentioned before when I told you guys I would be doing this video I mentioned that there was a wholesale store over here that also sold retail and like a lot of their stuff was starting at like three dollars i bought a bunch of three dollar top well when i just rolled through here they're closed so i can't even show you guys that that's not there anymore but i'm just going to show you what is left over here if anything you'll want to go to 20th because most of the stuff looks like it's over there now so see like giddy or jitty whatever their name supposed to be wholesale used to be over here but they're closed now too they moved to a different area so i'm gonna have to go to that area they're in to see if there's other stores over there but I feel like they're moved into like an isolated area. It's not like a fashion district anymore.
they are requiring resale certificates. So these are wholesale only vendors, no one without a license. Um, like that store told you you had to not to even get in. So that's it for Miami. As you can see, 5th Street or 5th Avenue is not what it used to be at all. There used to be a ton of stores. You can see a lot of the names are still up, but the stores are obviously gone. Most of the buildings over here are for sale. Things are trying to turn the street more like Wynwood because I see a lot of smoke shops and cafes popping up. But there are a few wholesalers still left over here. They're probably still in their lease or maybe just chose not to sell their buildings. But it's not what it used to be. You actually can find more on 20th Street if you go over there but Miami is definitely not LA when it comes to the fashion district is not as big they don't have as much so if you can get to LA I highly recommend it it's definitely worth the money but of course if you live in Miami and you want to stop at some of these stores or if you're vacationing here and you want to come over to some of these stores then of course do it but I wouldn't say travel all the way here just for that it'll be a waste of money if you ask me
But that's it. That's Miami. Or at least Miami's fashion district for you guys. Thank you for watching.